Hello and welcome to Mobile App Marketing video course. In this chapter, I'm going to talk about how you can make money through your mobile app or different ways you can make money through your mobile app. Now, in the previous chapters, we have discussed that um, if you're building an app which has a huge target audience and um, you have decided to build an app on uh, around that uh, audience and around that um, industry or the domain and then the next thing is to actually uh, decide whether you want to create a paid app or you want to um, give a free app initially and then have in-app purchases okay however um, if you're not sure about that I'm going to show you how what are the different ways and how you can actually make money out of um, your mobile app if your mobile app has again has a huge target audience and it is unique in its own way and it is uh, built without um, you know uh, without any bugs and um, it is functioning properly then these are some of the the ideas um, I have gathered from entrepreneur.com it's a blog uh, written on how your mobile app can make more money now the very um, there can be various uh, you know answers to this however looking at the very basic ones where just if you're just starting off and if you're not sure that uh, your monetization will come from which area of uh, your mobile app then you need to look at these few examples here the very first one is freemium for apps and games now it is um, obviously as i said a freemium app or game is offered free of charge obviously to the user with limited features so for example if i take a uh, if i take an example of a game then i have let's say 10 levels of a game all right and i can give maybe first two levels of the game uh, for free this is psychologically um, you know very effective if um, if you are um, um, in the gaming industry you, you would know uh, that if you are uh, playing any game and uh, you like the game and you want to actually go up proceed and you know finish those uh, different levels and uh, those levels can be a little bit more um, difficult uh, but uh, you get used to it so in order to do that you could do is first level of the game is free second level of the game is also free so to just to get the taste of the um, of the game and then also to get used to to your game okay then the user if he or she likes your game then um, uh, there is quite high uh, probability that uh, they will go and have um, you know they will buy the rest of the levels um, and they can have uh, a feature in in app purchase okay so that is uh, that is the in app purchase um, model and uh, it is uh, it is um, it works in where you have an app which has different levels and if you can divide those into different levels it can work out in 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 the education industry as well let's say you have developed uh, an um, a tutorial and the very first chapter of the tutorial the very first um, you know module of the tutorial is free and then the rest of them are paid okay makes sense that is the first option second option is one-time paid apps now this is a little uh, tricky because uh, if you're asking to for people to you know download the app um, and um, they will pay for the app uh, that is uh, then <clears throat> again you have to do a little market research and see um, that uh, if you are asking for the you know the money up front uh, and one-time paid apps to download the app then it might be possible that um, uh, they may not download because they haven't they haven't tried your app okay now um, the other thing is to look at in here is that um, in one time paid apps when they download the app and the updates and features are additionally expected to be free um, this can be one strategy that they pay for once and then whatever you add inside the app those features will be free so this is one one area of where you can look at as a technique um, but however one time paid apps is generally uh, will work when you have a huge list so what I mean to say is you already have a huge list of subscribers 
and you already have maintained um, a, some sort of relationship or maybe over social media or uh, different platforms and you have uh, people who have been you know your 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 business has been in existing uh, in existence for many years and you have acquired some of uh, you know good subscribers and you know that once you launch that those subscribers are actually looking for something like that and then they will go ahead and pay for the apps okay then that will make more sense third one is paid apps with added paid features now this is a hybrid monetization model that has gained traction fairly recently but not with its fair share of criticism many feel it's unfair to pay to download an app and then pay again to avail more features um this is i would say little um again uh, you know it, it it will only work with uh, uh, with the the option where the users doesn't have much of uh, you know apps available in that uh, particular domain and uh, they only see your app uh, to be giving valuable and they really really need it okay because you are asking them to pay uh, to download the app and then again once they download then you are asking them to pay for the paid features okay so you might want to look at that then free apps with advertising now this is very common um, and if you are uh, building an app and having advertising running on your app uh, that can be one monetization model but um, um, you need to also be uh, uh, need to be aware of that uh, not not all of the the you know the, the users or people would like you know ads running inside their um, uh, inside uh, their uh, you know uh, inside the app especially if it is a game so if I, if i'm playing a game i don't want that ad is disturbing my game and it is stopping me um, you know to play further so the the idea ideology here is the advertising will work when um, if you're not making a game a gaming app or something which you are actually has a video based which will interrupt me uh, to actually watch the ad it can be ad which can be you know featured right at the bottom of the on the screen uh, a little snippet of ad while i'm reading something or i am using the app um, then it's uh, it's okay because i have not paid anything for the app okay that is it i mean these are the some areas where um, you would want to see and um, have a business strategy around it make sure that you are very clear about the monetization part because this can be a break or make of your uh, you know your marketing strategy if you go into one particular uh, if you follow a, a one particular uh, strategy then you need to stick to it and you need to have really really uh, proven methods or some really really proof that that uh, you know your strategy will work okay so that is it about the chapter in uh, this i will now see you in the next one take care stay tuned bye for now